Now we're going to do a read through. If you have the words in your pack, you are welcome to follow along as I read. Dragon Quest by Alan Bailey. Hey, you. Yes. Yes, you with the book. Up, up, we have deeds to do. Bold deeds. Deeds so daring that songs will be sung for a thousand years. Come on, you'll be a hero. A great warrior, an epic knight. Here, carry my lance, my shield, my stew pot. Our quest. Ah, yes. But first we must pass many perils out there, awful perils, dangers to set your teeth chattering, to turn your hair white. And after we have fought through them all, then we must face the worst of terrors, green ice gleaming in the eye, claws flashing in the smoky sun, fires curling from its mouth. Now there's a grand quest. Waiting for us is the last dragon. But the dangers start now. In these shifting sands lie the bones of noble knights perished with their swords undrawn. We must watch for the sting of the scuttling scorpions, the hundred bites of the banded wasps. And we must always be ready for the lightning strike of the deadly desert snakes. Can you see them? We have crossed the desert. Of course, I knew we would. I am too fast for any snake. I am so fast, even my own shadow cannot catch me. There was no need to be afraid. But there are dark dangers in this tangled forest. Here are spitting toads, poison webs, ghost owls, wolves, goblins. And worse, Three dark witches coil evil spells through the forest. Listen, you can hear the howling of doomed dragon fighters trapped in the witchery of the trees. But you see, we have cleared the forest. There was no need to be afraid. I am as strong as 10 elephants brave as a score of lions. Be careful now of the whispering abyss. Fanged werewolves will leap out at you, thorned demons will nibble at you, and if you fall, a fright of Dracula bats will drink you dry before you reach the bottom. Shh, we must be quiet. A double-headed troll lurks in these hills. A double-headed troll can never be defeated in battle. It commands a flight of vultures, an army of warrior gnomes, a stampede of centaurs. Oh! Cowardly nag. All right, we don't need the horse. Now, see, we're out of troll country. There was no need to be afraid. A double-headed troll cannot be defeated, but it can be outwitted. If the double-headed troll saw us, I would ask to talk to the troll's head head, then watch the heads fight about who is the head head. You were very lucky to be around such a smart dragon fighter. Glass Mountain. Dragon country at last. No, no, don't worry about the rolling rocks and always look up at the sky. If the dragon is flying and it sees us, we are doomed. There is nothing you can do about a flying dragon. Right, this is it. The top of Glass Mountain. No dragon can hide from me in a cloud. Pass me my lance and shield. Prepare for a mighty battle. 
Why? What do you mean, why? You don't want me to fight it. You just want to see a dragon to know it's there. What's the good of that? What's the good of a dragon fighter who doesn't fight dragons? Never heard of such a thing. Wait, what? Nothing here. Can you see any dragons? Look to the glittering ice, to the polished sea, the shifting sands, the forest. No? No dragon at all? No dragon left anywhere. Nothing to do but go home. But why are you grinning? <laughs>